today we will talk about what load balancer is now load balancer will be distributing the load among different different web servers in the back end right so we will talk about how many type of load balancers we are having in AWS in AWS we are having two type of load balancers now initially when AWS started with load balancer at that time there was only one load balancer and that was elastic load balancer now these days they are having two load balancers now elastic load balancer is known as classic load balancer now and the another load balancer which we are having is that is application load balancer now what is the difference between classic and application load balancer now application load balancer can take routing decisions at OSI layer 7 that means at the application layer it can do filtering depending on the content right and the classic load balancer is just for distributing the load so today we are talking about classic load balancer now for creating classic load balancer we have to have two web servers in the backend so first of all we'll go to instances we'll create two instances here or you can say we will be creating two web servers so let's suppose we are ta taking Amazon Linux we are choosing this instance type and in the advanced section of configure instance details we'll be typing a small script now we took this script We'll paste this script here. So in this script, is it is written that welcome to Intelio AWS class one. So this will be displayed once this web server will be ready. Now add storage. This is the root storage which will be attached to this particular web server. Now tags. Tags are very very important. So I'm typing here web server one. I'll go to configure security group. Now we have to add port number 80 here because we are launching a web server on this particular instance. Review and launch. Click on launch. We already have a key. I acknowledge that I have access to this key and launch instance. So my instance will be ready or you, you can say the web server will be ready within few minutes. So in the meanwhile, we'll be launching one more instance so that we will be able to see that the load balancer is equally distributing the load among these two web servers so this time again we are choosing AMI Amazon Linux same free tier instance configure instance details we already have a script because we have to launch the same server on the other instance also but this time we are making a small change that in place of writing here AWS class 1 we are writing AWS class 2 so that we will be able to see that load balancer is equally distributing the load among these two web servers in the backend storage attacks this time I'm writing here web server 2 configure security group we have add port number 80 without this our web server will not work we'll click on launch we already have a key launch instance can see here that one of our web servers is ready and as you can see a public IP has been assigned to this particular web server so if you want to see 
that the web server which we have launched on this instance that is working or not will go there will type our public IP and as you can see that it is opening that particular page which we have specified on that particular web server I can see the other web server is also ready and a public IP has been assigned to this particular web server also we'll copy this we'll paste it in the another tab you can see on one web server we are having AWS Cloud 1 and on the other server we are having AWS Cloud 2 that means we are having two web servers now we'll be creating a load balancer we'll go to the load balancer so we'll click on create load balancer we have to create classic load balancer click on continue we'll specify the name of the load balancer so I'm specifying a name called Intalio ELB elastic load balancer so we are not enabling advanced VPC configuration we'll ca talk about this in HA high availability what I'm doing here is I'm creating a new security group for this load balancer configure security group so it is saying that if you will use HTTPS that will be really nice We'll go to configure health check now health check is very very important for a load balancer now here you can see that what load balancer will do is load balancer will keep on monitoring the health of the EC2 instances which are there behind the load balancer so as you can see here once it will it will ping the index page on those EC2 instances which are working as a web server so once it will ping index.html the response time is 5 seconds that means within 5 seconds it will confirm that that load balancer is working perfectly or not now interval between those pings will be 10 seconds we have specified now unhealthy threshold now unhealthy threshold is that before declaring an instance unhealthy it will ping it two times or if it wants to declare it healthy it will ping it three times now add ec2 instances so these are the two instances which we would like to add into our load balancer we at least need two instances if you want to create a load balancer now there are two very very important options first is enable cross zone load balancing now what cross zone load balancing is if you want that your load balancer will equally distribute the requests among different different availability zones so in that case you can enable this now the next is enable connection draining now what connection draining is let's suppose your load balancer will declare a instance as unhealthy instance after this it will take 300 seconds for terminating the connection to that particular instance now next is add tags We're adding a tag to our load balancer it is very important to assign tags to all the resources so we are specifying her ELB preview and create so these are all the things which we have assigned click on create now load balancer will be ready within few minutes now as you can see load balancer failed to create because one of our instance is not working why it is not working we have to go and see although it was working at that particular time but I think it's not ready now but it is showing that two of our instances are ready let's see Now both the instances are ready as we can see here clearly so we'll go to our load balancer
so we'll click on create load balancer we are crea creating classic load balancer continue we'll specify the name of the load balancer Entalio ELB assign security groups we are creating a new security group let's suppose configure health check we have already discussed about these things unhealthy threshold 3 add ec2 instances we are adding both the instances here add tags we are assigning a tag which is let's suppose elb review and create create last time I think we have not selected the EC2 instances that was our mistake now the most important thing here is earlier what we were having is these instances which are running these web servers these instances have been assigned these public IP addresses and these are dynamic IP addresses they can change once you will shut down your instance and you will start your instance but in the load balancer we a DNS name has been assigned to this load balancer till the time even a single instance will be serving in the backend load balancer will keep on working if you want to add more instances you can go to more in instances added instances you can add more instances into the load balancer if you want now how will come to know the load balancer is ready or not you can see her status once two out of two instances will be in service then our load balancer will be ready so as you can see they are not in service so it is doing health check and other things in the back end can see two out of two instances are in service that means our load balancer is ready so now what we'll do is we'll copy this DNS name we'll do control C I'm going to another browser. as you can see it is taking to you to one of the web servers now if I will reload it it will take you to the second web server first web server second server so it is equally distributing the load so that's it for today.